So I figured I'd make this video to help somebody else towards their dieting goals. So, especially during this pandemic, I mean, it's hard to go out and exercise. Well, actually, it depends on your situation. Some people are going to have a better time than others exercising, but it's hard to really do any aggressive weight training. So, normally I would use the Atkins diet or carb cycling, whatever, to do what I need to do, maintain my weight, and all that stuff, but during this pandemic, I feel like keto is the easiest way to go, especially if you're not going to the gym so consistently, and all this other stuff, it's just easier to maintain. Carb Manager is the app to go through, and, uh, so as you can tell, it literally tracks everything in the chart for you. You can all you have to do is just scan in your breakfast, lunch, dinners, snacks you may eat, but yeah, all you have to do is just well, the moment you get in the app, it's going to have a setting. It's going to ask you your goal. What are you actually trying to do? So you're probably going to be confused at first. For a person that's actually doing keto, all you got to do is just go with keto. You can do a high protein keto, or but if you're just starting out keto, just go with keto. And later on, later on, personally, I'll go with a high protein keto, but I want to lose all this extra Corona weight first. So if you're a bodybuilder, you can have it set up to actually um, ration out your macros for bodybuilding as well but for now it's just regular keto for me you can go and there's a customized build for it too but yeah it's going to, to basically set everything up for you based on your body type it's going to ask you some additional questions so but for my body type Especially if I'm doing keto, it, it wants me to do 121 grams of healthy fats, 97 grams of protein, and try not to go over 90 grams of carbs. Well, t actually really not over like 25 or 30 grams. But it stay, but really stay under 19 if you can. Or don't go over 19, I should say. But, yeah, all you got to do is plug in your foods, but here's the bonus to it. You see where it says recipes and meal plans? So, pretty much, it's going to automatically give you some recipes right here. Keto Italian beef cabbage with noodles, low-carb Philly cheese steaks, keto alfredo chicken bake and you have so many others you can just look through it on your own and it's going to work out with your keto plan all you got to do is just look up the recipes and plug it all in and you're good and let's see if it, oh wait never mind i guess you have to really buy in but you can look that stuff up on youtube you can look this stuff up on pinterest instagram so see regardless of it wanting you to pay for a membership you don't have to actually do that if you don't want to it's totally up to you you see what it has but i'm not actually using that stuff most of my recipes that i have i've i found through pinterest already and i have and youtube as well so i put up a collection so i'm set personally i know what i want and even still right now i'm just Making something, I'm just going simple with it. I mean, cheese eggs with links, avocado, chicken. Uh, still planning throughout the day, as you can tell. I mean, I haven't maxed out on my fats and proteins. I'm just kind of going with the flow throughout the day. But, yeah, there's more to add to it that I can add. Actually, that so actually no yeah this is tomorrow 
breakfast, I could say. Well, any of these things. You can look for the foods. You have a collection of foods that you've already pre built. You can scan the barcode as well on the bag. That way, it can automatically pull up what you're trying to use. And I guess you can snap a picture of the food and it'll try to compare. But, um, yeah, it'll automatically do. Uh, yeah, you just calculate what you're putting in it and it'll put it up. It'll consider everything for you. Just the eggs alone. But, yeah, for the keto diet itself, you it's a low-carb diet. So, you want to stay low on the carbs. The point is to get your body used to actually using your fats as the energy source so once you start eating more fats and start eliminating the carbs by eating a lesser amount it starts to, it starts sending out ketones throughout your body to really start eating out the fat and use it as energy but the thing about it is starting out on this diet you are going to want to drink a lot of water take in a lot of vitamins as well to to get through the keto food so I would say drink your body weight in water if you can do that or a gallon of water actually yeah I wouldn't say your body weight I'd say more like a gallon at least and just stick with your plan but yeah you gotta see it started by making a plan actually and there are some keto books that you can get um but ultimately yeah to really stay in keto all you really have to do is just stay in your keto ranges look pay attention to the labels look at how many grams of fats you're taking in how many grams of protein you're taking in it's easy to read the label on the bags and yeah just try not to eat a high amount of carbs and even if it doesn't really show it on the bag, you can like literally just look up walnuts or something like that. Look up how much, how many servings would actually get calculated, and it'll do all that for you. So it get it bumps it in there. How many calories? How much protein? Fats? All that other stuff, and that's two servings. And the serving amount is going to be normally be shown on the bag, how many pieces and all that other stuff, if you bought it in the bag, anyways. Or if you're not even looking at the servings, you can. Okay, never mind. Sometimes there are, there's limits. You you have to kind of Google that sometimes. It's easier with like things like eggs, a roast, stuff like that. So easier to measure out a cup for a roast. Avocado, it's just one avocado. Stuff like that. But yeah, this it's diet is it's not too complicated. The, the main thing is just reading the label on the bag and that's what most people aren't really actually doing they don't really pay attention to all that so the fact that if you're unwilling to read the label that's where you kind of mess up but if you are willing to do all that you make things easier on yourself but if you have any more questions as far as this app goes and keto is concerned, just feel free to comment below. But yeah, overall, I was just showing you how to use this app. Just stay within your ranges and try to get most of your, ha your, your fats from healthy fat sources, such as like avocados, eggs, cheese, milk. Well, actually probably not milk because it does have carbs in it but you you want to be careful on it I should say 
like eat I mean drink in moderation eat in moderation you don't want to be a glutton you don't want to steer from steer from your plan pay attention to your carb sources and if you eat mainly low carb sources you won't really have to really focus on anything and if you make a plan ahead of time it makes things much easier I mean my favorite way to do it is just cheese eggs I can eat cheese eggs all day if I want to I'm I'm not doing that but yeah sometimes I'll make regular cheese eggs I'll make it with spinach I'll eat avocados I'll make avocado salads I'll have a pork chop in the afternoon you can eat broccoli kale stuff like that it really depends on what you want to do and eat but yeah you can eat nuts too like walnuts but you got to be careful like I'll only eat like a handful if I even do that cheese sticks are great pepperonis if you for like a snack sometimes you want a snack but yeah it just depends on what you want to do and yeah chicken is great steak is great just figuring out what's going to help you survive your process and it only gets easier from there